Hello Buckpole viewers. I know it's been an eternity since I've done a video. Um, haven't had much lately and I just kind of keep forgetting it when I do food plots and stuff. The one that I'm doing today, I'm going to try to remove the worst falling I have ever seen in a barrel in my life. My dad picked up a gun, um, super, super cheap, and the barrel was fouled to the point where it almost looked like the inside of a chimney. I started out two nights ago and I took a good copper lead powder solvent and a wire or a, bra or a brass wire brush or copper wire brush sorry and I went to town with the brush and the cleaner and it kept going and going and going and four hours later I finally gave up and went to bed. Uh, yesterday I spent another two hours on it with another can of solvent because I burnt through my first can of solvent and I figured there has to be a better way. So what I'm going to try is, I'm going to try an electrolysis mixture and see how that goes. I have it all set up on my own and I'm gonna take two seconds, pause you guys, and then I will come back to it in just a second. I'm back and for you guys I'm sure that was a nice short wait because I edited the video and you didn't have to wait anything. From here what I'm going to do is show you basically what the setup is for the electrolysis system. I have an old phone charger cord. Um, I don't know if I can get it zoomed in well enough for you but it is a 5 volt output. Um, so it's, or actually this one's a 3 volt output, the other one that I had was a 5 but it had too many wires and wasn't going to work so I went with this one, uh, this is a 3 volt output which is equivalent to a few batteries, there's guys that use battery packs. Um, it comes out and I have the red and white wires, um, red and black just is easier for me so I soldered on a little bit thicker piece so it would match up with the alligator clips anyways and what you do is you take your positive and you put your positive somewhere on your gun, your barrel. Um, I've seen guys use the sight if they have enough room. Mine, I bought big enough alligator clips that it would fit over the barrel. Um, from there, your best way to contain it and not make a huge mess is to grab a funnel and tape a funnel onto the end of it. Um, I used some electrical tape that I had laying around and I got a pretty good seal on this. Hopefully it doesn't leak and if it does, it's just entertaining for you guys. Then the next step of it is I have a steel rod. Um, I put little rubber O-rings on it just to keep it from contacting the barrel because if you contact the barrel, you basically close out your circuit and that's not going to help you clean it all. Um, you might actually even possibly, I've heard horror stories of guys welding the rod to their barrel because there was contact so you put the rod down into the barrel and then from there you have to have your electrolysis mixture um, the mixture that I found guys talking about the most was one cup of water one part of distilled white vinegar and one part 10% uh, ammonia uh, so one cup of each is the way I'm gonna make my mix and I'm gonna shut you guys off, make my mix. Um, I'm gonna pour it in, see if there's any leaks, and then I will bring it back and show you basically how it's supposed to bubble, what it's supposed to do once you get going on it. We are back, and wow, this smells strong, but this is what most guys have been recommending. We're gonna see ultimately how it works. Um, I'm gonna start by pouring this. I have it propped up so hopefully you guys can see it halfway decent. And you're going to actually find out for me if it leaks, when it leaks, how it leaks, if it leaks, if I plug the bottom of the barrel well enough. Um, I just used a basic little rubber stop for the bottom of the barrel. And I'm trying to keep that as straight up and down as I can to make it as effective as possible. Um, not seeing any leaks on the bottom. Make sure we hook up our negative on the top on the electrode and we're going to plug it in and if we did it right it should start bubbling from everything I've heard and if I did it wrong and I blow up well then you won't see this video.
and this is kind of boring. So I'm gonna turn you guys off for right now, and once it starts bubbling and it shows something fun, I'll come back to it. So, well, actually, never mind. I take that back. I'm starting to see some bubbles coming up on the on the rod right now. So there we go. Uh, I did take some pictures beforehand, so I'll make sure I show you guys the pictures. And in my lovely two-year-old's fashion, he's playing with my drill. And my daughter's telling me, in case you missed that. Uh, I'll try to edit out as much as I can, but I'm sure I'll leave some stuff in there for fun, too. But I'm going to put you guys on pause. And I'm going to return back in a little bit. Um, probably going to let this run for about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, that's about the run time I've been hearing from a lot of guys to let it run for. And then uh, we'll show you how dirty the rod is and see if it actually made any difference. Uh, like I said, I took some before pictures, so we'll have something to compare it to after the fact. So I've gone ahead, um, I've actually let it go for 20 minutes. Um, the clips aren't real warm or anything, so we're not over drying power. Um, this is the first time I'm pulling this out, so you guys get to see it in real time when I see it. Um, you can definitely see some of the blackness on the rod. So, not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I'm going to take these, clean it off, and I'm going to clean the barrel out once and see how much stuff is actually gooped up inside of it and get an idea on where I'm at with that and then I will take some snapshots of the barrel um, post them at the end of the video uh, if the barrel still needs more work I'm gonna keep continuing this cycle if it seems like it's having a positive impact and I will try to finish it up and let you guys know what it looks like so thank you for tuning in and have a nice day